Section 2.3 is about Layer 2 Discovery Protocols. Layer 2 Discovery Protocols help network devices share information about themselves. This is critical for troubleshooting, network mapping, and verifying neighbor connectivity. The Discovery Protocols mechanism for devices is to send periodic messages to discover their neighbors and store this information in a local table, which can be queried using SNMP. The key Layer 2 Discovery Protocols we will discuss in this video are CDP and LLDP. Let's start with CDP. CDP or Cisco Discovery Protocol is a proprietary Layer 2 network protocol developed by Cisco Systems. It allows Cisco devices to share information with other directly connected Cisco devices, enabling them to discover each other and exchange information. The protocol is enabled by default and requires no additional configuration to start working. CDP messages include the following information, device name, interface types and numbers, IP address of connected devices, Cisco IOS version, capabilities, platform model, and VLAN information. Why do we use CDP? We use it for topology discovery. Devices use CDP to discover directly connected Cisco devices such as switches, routers, and IP phones. This information helps network engineers gather information about the connected devices in real time and the physical topology. It is also used for VLAN awareness. IP phones use CDP to learn the voice and data VLAN IDs that are configured on the switch port that the phone connects to. It is also used for PoE power management. CDP allows the access point to inform the switch about its power requirements, helping to ensure the access point receives adequate power, especially in scenarios where multiple devices need to share PoE resources. This is how CDP works. CDP is enabled by default on Cisco devices and must be enabled globally before it can be active on interfaces. Then, each CDP-enabled device sends periodic advertisement messages, typically every 60 seconds, to a well-known multicast address. After that, CDP advertisements can include details such as device's hostname, platform and software version, device type, device ID, IP address of the interface sending the CDP packet, port identifier, native VLAN, and other device-specific information. Cisco devices store the information received from the adjacent devices in a table, which can be viewed using commands like show CDP neighbors. This table is updated when new announcements are received, and the whole time for that entry is reset. Advertisements include a time to live or hold time value, indicating how long the receiving device should retain the information before discarding it. The default is 180 seconds. Let's now configure CDP. CDP is enabled by default on all Cisco IOS XE devices such as routers and switches. To disable the protocol entirely, we use the no CDP run command and global configuration mode, as shown in the output below. To disable the protocol on a particular interface, we use the command no CDP enable. To enable CDP entirely if it was disabled, we use the CDP run command. To enable CDP on an interface if it was disabled, we use the CDP enable command. To configure CDP hold time, or the time to live for advertised information, we use this command. And for verifying CDP, we check the CDP table of a Cisco device using the show CDP neighbors command. Here's the result of the command. The first column, device ID, shows the device's hostname. 
The second column, local interface, shows which one's local interface that connects to the neighbor. For example, switch one's interface Ethernet 01 connects to router 1 while Ethernet 00 connects to router 1. Hold time value indicates how long a receiving device should retain the information before discarding it if no further updates are received. The capability column shows if the device is a router, switch, or IP phone. The platform identifies the specific model of the neighboring device. Since our devices are virtual IOL images, it shows Linux. The port ID shows the neighboring device's local interface. And the CDP command show CDP entry device name is used in privileged exec mode to display detailed information about a specific neighboring device discovered via CDP. The output of this command will include details such as device identifier, address list, local interface, port identifier, capabilities list, platform, and other details. Depending on the device and configuration, you might also see information about native VLAN ID, duplex mode, VTP, domain name, and more. For exam tips, Remember that CDP is Cisco proprietary. Memorize the basic commands to enable or disable and view neighbors. In this diagram, take note that Switch 1 only sees the directly connected devices. It cannot see a device one or more hops away, such as Router 2. Let's now talk about the Link Layer Discovery Protocol, or LLDP. LLDP is a vendor-neutral protocol used by network devices to advertise information about themselves to other devices on the same local network. Like all other neighbor discovery protocols, LLDP works on Layer 2. By using LLDP, directly connected neighbors are discovered. With this protocol, Ethernet devices advertise their identification, configuration, and more to the directly connected LLDP-enabled devices. To discover a neighbor device, LLDP must be enabled both on the discovering device and the discovered device. After that, LLDP-enabled devices send LLDP advertisements to each other and the device information are stored in the MIB databases on the devices. Any network management software gets this data by SNMP, and with this data, it builds the network map. LLDP also uses Hello Timer and Dead Timer. Hello Timer is 30 seconds for LLDP and Dead Timer is 120 seconds. Let's now configure LLDP. This command enables LLDP on the device globally, allowing it to both send and receive LLDP messages, if configured on the interfaces. These commands enable LLDP on an interface. LLDP transmit enables sending LLDP advertisements out of the interface. LLDP Receive enables receiving LLDP advertisements into the interface. If you skip this, LLDP may be running globally but won't function on that interface. This is the command to disable LLDP globally. And this is the command to disable per interface. Show LLDP Neighbors is used to verify LLDP. And here is the output of the command. Device ID is the name of the directly connected device. Local interface is the interface on your switch. Hold time is how long to keep the neighbor entry if no update is received. Capability is what the neighbor device does. Example, a switch. Port ID is the port on the neighbor device connected to your interface. The command show LLDP neighbors detail gives more information on the neighboring devices.
Some details include the system name or description, the chassis ID, port ID or description, management address, and capabilities. LLDP is standards-based and vendor-neutral. Use LLDP in multi-vendor networks like HP, Juniper, and more. You won't see LLDP neighbors unless both LLDP transmit and receive are enabled on the interface. You can use both CDP and LLDP protocols, but they don't talk to each other. Cisco Proprietary Layer 2 Discovery Protocol IEEE Standard Layer 2 Discovery Protocol used in multi-vendor networks. Command to enable CDP globally. Command that shows CDP neighbors. Command that shows LLDP neighbors.